right, everyone. Welcome to Chart Attack. This is Vishal from Equity Guru. And we're going to talk about if the marijuana or the cannabis bottom is in. Some exciting times uh, here for some of the small cap stocks uh, on the cannabis side and the psychedelic side, which we will talk about sometime later this week. But cannabis, especially the MSOS ETF, this is sort of what I use to gauge the sector. And I, I do tend to focus more on the American side, folks, just because that's where that big federal legalization is supposed to occur. And we were supposed to have it last year, but um, never happened. And, you know, maybe we see that in 2022. Not really sh sure if that's what the market is pricing in here. Um, I think this is maybe just more of a technical pop uh, that we're witnessing here. And essentially, if you guys follow my work, the whole market structure trend that I talk about, we have this prolonged downtrend. Um, we began to base here at $20 and, uh, you know, created this sort of mini cup and handle pattern. Uh, but the, the key was a break above this $23 resistance zone. And um, so far, folks, it's looking good. We've even broken above a trend line here. And what I am hoping to see is a bit of a pullback uh, before we make a higher low and continue higher. And basically, it's a new uptrend, a trend reversal in the cannabis sector. And I got to tell you right now, this, you know, even though, yeah, we have given up half the gains here, we still have a green candle for the day, which is uh, um, holding up well, given, you know, at the time of recording and everything else in the market is, is, is falling. So I think uh, structurally and technically there is a nice breakout here that traders will be watching. And if we quickly take a look at some other names like Tilray, we see the exact same structure, you know, this prolonged downtrend, um, this cup and handle pattern a breakout above resistance and even a break above my moving day average. So uh, looking very exciting. And there is still some lower highs here to, to look for. Uh, maybe from there we make uh, a, you know some sort of uh, inverse head and shoulder pattern if we do pull back to retest and break out. Um, and then finally, canopy growth. Uh, once again, very similar structure, although in this case, uh, maybe that, and I'm just gonna get rid of this, or maybe uh, that lower high here um, is still a breakout that we need to see. So maybe on Canopy, uh, the structure is not just there, but uh, it, it's looking positive, especially given what MSOS is doing. So new cannabis uptrend, is this a cannabis bounce or is this just a dead cat bounce? And are we going to see sellers jump in right again? Um, I'm just gonna watch to see if we can remain about 23 here on MSOS. And if that's the case, then I think a lot of you pot stock investors are, are going to be in for a good few months or hopefully a good 2022. Uh, that's it for me, folks. If you guys are bullish MSOS or cannabis and the pot stocks in general, let me know in the comments below what you're looking at and uh, you know why you're positive cannabis. Or maybe you think I'm completely wrong. Maybe you think cannabis is still dead and we're going to make uh, lower highs and lower lows. Let me know in the comments below and also be sure to follow us on all our social media links that are in the description box and I'll catch you guys all in the next Chart Attack video.